Tunaendelea na platiko namba 3 database programming. Kwenye platiko hii namba 3 tutajifunza namna ya kuinsert data kwenye table. Kwenye platiko namba 2 na namba 1 tulijifunza namna ya kudefine schema. Kwenye platiko namba 2 tulijifunza namna ya kufanya table association au table relationship. Tulisema kwamba unapofanya table relationship unatumia constraint za aina mbili ya kwanza ni primary key ya pili ni foreign key Katika practical hii ya leo tutajifunza sasa namna ya kuinsert value kwenye relational ambayo tulizotengeneza kwenye practical number 1 na practical number 2 Tuna insert value au data kwenye relation ya kwanza ambayo ni department Kanuni ya kuinsert value kwenye table ni kwamba huruhusiwi kuinsert data katika child table kama data hiyo haijaexist katika mother table. Kwa hiyo insertion inaanzia katika mother table na kisha reference inaenda kufanyika katika child table. So tuna insert data katika table ya department au relational au schema. Tuta insert data kwenye department name na department ID. So nitashuka huko chini. Kuinsert data katika table Unaandika keyword inaitwa insert. Insert ni keyword inayotumika kuingiza value katika columns au katika variable. Inafuatiwa keyword inaitwa into kuonyesha kwamba data hizi zinaenda kuingizwa katika table ipi. Kisha unaandika jina la schema. Kisha unaweka bracket za namna hii. Ndani ya hizi bracket unaandika majina ya variable ya kwanza ni department ID ya pili ni department name Kinachofuata unaandika keyword inaitwa values Values ni hizo data ambazo zitaingia kisha unaweka bracket Kwenye values hapa utaingiza department name utaingiza department ID zikiwa ndani ya quotation kwa nini kwa sababu department name data type ilikuwa ni variable character ambayo inachukua alpha numeric mchanganyiko wa namba na text. Department ID data type ilikuwa ni variable character. Kwa data yoyote ambayo ni variable character ni lazima izungukwe na string au quotation. So department name for example marketing. Yeah, for example marketing. Hii itakuwa ni department name. Department ID itakuwa ni department 1. So naandika dep one yani department 1 Hapa nikibonyeza hii uh, nikiandika hiyo semicolon niki copy hii query nikaenda kwenye server nikai paste na kui execute hizi data zitakuwa zimekuwa inserted So naongeza tena hapa koma kuonyesha kwamba na insert record nyingine kwenye row nyingine So na copy same na paste hapa chini Hii department ya pili itaitwa human resource yani HR Hii itakuwa ni department number 2 Nizini na paste Hii itakuwa ni public relation Hii itakuwa ni department number 3 ya mwisho itakuwa ni manufacturing and production hii itakuwa ni department number 4 zeni mwisho ni hapa na terminate weka semicolon kisha na copy na kuja ku paste katika shell au katika terminal ambayo tuliifungua katika practical number 2 Kisha na click enter kui execute Nikitaka kuziona data zangu hizi kama zimeingia naandika command inaitwa select Select ni command au keyword inayotumika kufetch data kwenye table So select ni data manipulation language ambayo yenyewe inatumika kufanya data exploration Exploration ni just kuangalia nature of data size of data na other constraint then all from 
department kisha na tikini so tuna department zetu ni hizi marketing human resource public relation na malfunctioning in production kiacho fuata ni kuinsert data kwenye child table child table ambayo ni employee kwa ndika insert kwanza kabisa uone hiyo table ya employee ambayo ni hii hapa table ya employee somewhere hii hapa tuta insert data kwenye first name kwenye last name kwenye full name gender employee id na department na tuta insert data pia kwenye hii department ambayo ni foreign key lakini kumbuka kwamba full name ni sawa sawa na first name na last name unapata full name kwa full name hii ni virtual column ni kola ambayo inajitengeneza data yenyewe. So, nitakuja hapa nitaandika keyword inaitwa insert. Insert into employee kisha nitaka kwa bracket. Humo ndani nitazitaja hizo hizo column. Ya kwanza ni first name, last name, full name na kuendelea ambazo ni hizi. First name mkato, last name mkato, full name mkato, gender mkato, employee ID na department lakini full name tuna exclude kwa sababu hii inajitengeneza yenyewe ni virtual column kisha nakuja kusema hapa values naika bracket first name mfano maria kato zini last name gerard mfano kato zini inafuata uh, gender gender ni a uh, female mkato then uh, employee id labda tuandike email maria at gmail.com kinachofanya department so department ndio inaofuata kwa sababu hii department ni foreign key imefanya reference ya primary key kutoka katika table department kwa department ambayo utaiandika hapa ni lazima iwe ime exist katika table ya department ambayo ni mother table na hiyo ndiyo kanuni ya foreign key insertion kwenye child table ni possible endapo tu data ime exist kwenye mother table kwa huruhusiwi hapa kuandika department ambayo haijakuwa registered yani huruhusiwi kumregister employee kwenye department ambayo department haijakuwa registered kwa nini kwa sababu foreign key hiyo ndiyo constraint yake. So na copy department. Hii ndio ilikuwa ni department ID, department number 4, fano. Na ngoja ku paste hapa. Kwamba huyu yupo ni department number 4. Kisha na bonyeza hiyo, kisha na ngoja kutengeneza uh, column uh, na ngoja ku insert tena data hapa na insert multiple data. Huyu user pili atakuwa jina la Alice. Ambaye ni female, hapa atakuwa ni Alice then yupo kwa department number 1 na mwinset user mwingine then for example huyu atatoa jina la Jafet for example hii last name itakuwa ni Wilson uh, gender itakuwa just a male lakini hapa itakuwa ni Wilson at gmail.com huyu atakuwa department number 2 Ginofata ya mwisho ni just huyu atakuwa anaitwa uh, Kashmir uh, just Then hii last name itakuwa for example namna hii Gender itakuwa just email Then email itakuwa ni kashmir at gmail.com Ginofata itakuwa just a good friend Then last name itakuwa for example namna hii. Gender itakuwa just email. Email itakuwa ni Godfrey at gmail.com. Department ipo department number 3. So mwishoni kabisa nakuja na terminate. Kisha nina copy. Nakuja ku paste katika terminal. Kisha nina execute. Kisha nika command select or from employee kisha na terminate so utaona employee wetu ambao tumewaregister ni hawa hapa 
Tunachofuata ni kuinsert data katika table ya department yani describe department. Kwenye table ya department tuna department sorry kwenye table ya products. Tuna insert data katika table ya products ambayo ina product ID, product name, purchase price, selling price, tax date na employee ID na status. So tunakuja katika editor yetu hapa. Tunaandika keyword inaitwa insert kama kawaida into products. Kisha nafungua bracket. Then unaanza kutaja hizo column, product ID, product name na nyinginezo. Kwa ni product ID, product name purchasing price, selling price na employee ID. Values. Product ID for example product 1. Just in a product. Product 1 is going to be Product name for example perfume. Purchasing price data type ilikuwa ni real kwa hiyo key quotation purchasing price shilingi 3000 for example purchasing price selling price for example shilingi 5000 yapo employee id ambaye ame register hii product kumbuka employee id ambayo ni hii hapa yes employee id ambayo tunaenda ku set value hii ni foreign key inafanya reference ya employee table employee kwenye column ya employee id kwa urusi kuinsert data hapa kwenye foreign key ambayo haipo hiyo data kwenye primary key. Yaani hairuhusiwi kusajiri product kwenye table kwa jina la employee ambaye hajakuwa registered. So tunakuja tuna copy Maria ndo ame register hii product kisha tunakuja tuna paste hapa namna hii. Kisha naweka mkato namna hii nakuja kuinsert data nyingine aina ya pili au nakuja ku register product nyingine so just hii itakuwa ni product 2 hii itakuwa ni body lotion for example purchasing price shilingi 5000 then sales price shilingi 7000 for example kinachofuata ni just hii itakuwa ni product 3 for example hii itakuwa ni soap Purchasing price F3, selling price F5. Then employee ambaye ame add for example ni huyu hapa, yana Kashmir. Kinachofuata ni ku register product nyingine, for example hii hapa. Hii itakuwa just a product 4. Hii for example itakuwa ni powder then I register for example ni huyu hapa Wilson then ya mwisho kabisa itakuwa ni just a product 5 yes na change hapo tunaandika 5 for example hii ni perfume just perfume F30 purchasing price F50 sales price Ali add ni huyu hapa sasa kuweka na hapa na hapa just kuweka mkato na hapa na hapa By then nakuja na copy hizi SQL statement nakuja katika shell katika database server na zini na paste kisha na click enter ita execute. Naandika command inaitwa select all from products. Kisha na terminate namna hiyo kisha na click enter utaona zile products zetu ambazo tumeregister ni hizi hapa. Kwenye practical number 4 tutakuja kuangalia namna kufanya computation kwenye database. Computation ambayo itakuja ku calculate profit na loss margins.